Amen. First, I give honor to, to God, who's the head of my life, to my pastor, to uh, the mother, and to the overseer of the women's department. I just thank the Lord for being here. Here I am again, holding up the rear, and uh, I got it to somebody else take it over. <laughs> I do thank God for my husband. Y'all know Deacon Charles. Amen. Amen. I've enjoyed all the speakers on tonight. And they do an awesome job. Mother Brooks did an awesome job. She is a sweet lady. She is a sweet lady. Um, I'm going to be short and sweet. I've been instructed. Don't stay. Don't be up there too long. Don't be up. I've already been instructed. But uh, I wanted to say when uh, uh, Bomb Bomb, excuse me for saying Bomb Bomb. But uh, when she was talking about Nakari, it brought back a, a memory that uh, he had. I seen some of the like when she said, "You like where that come from?" So we was uh, we was uh, he was a little younger then. He was about three or four. Well, maybe he was five. And we was up here practicing, <laughs> you know. And I was talking to them about things, you know, going to heaven and how, what you do to go to heaven. So I said, uh, "Don't y'all want to go to heaven?" You know, all the kids. Say, yeah, they want to go ahead. And the car said, no. Nah. I said, you know, <laughs> I said, you don't want to go to heaven? He said, no. Nah. I said, why you don't want to go? He said, ain't going ain't to be nothing to do up there. <laughs> he said, we ain't going to have no toys up there. <laughs> so that just, that just brought back, when she said that, you know, he, he do, because when she said that, it just brought, brought that back to mind. Amen. Uh, I'm gonna go on with my uh, my um, <laughs> my uh, word was expressed. So you know, I I I looked and and I said, the Bible is full of expressions that the Lord uh, to express me. Uh, let me go back to express me to to uh, put into words or to make known by feelings or thoughts. And I thought when I when God gave me. You know, I looked at the Bible, and I said the whole Bible was full of God expressing himself, right. his thoughts and his feelings, you know. And I, I said the word, the word is all we needed to ex express ourselves. But I said I was going to say a few words about expressing yourself. Uh, I couldn't, you know, God didn't give me a scripture, so I won't be before you long. It's going to be short and sweet. I won't cut up. I won't do none of that. I do what God tell me to do, and then I have my seat. And so, I, and I wanted to say I thank God for uh, Sister Mac. You know, I thank God for she the one was responsible for me uh, being the overseer this morning. And I know, no, no, she, you can do it, you can do it. You know, and I thank God for her. You know, I thank God for her, and I wanted to say that. And um, Sister Bugs did a wonderful job on this morning, and we thank God for her. Okay, back to my express. Uh, like I said, express me to, like, you know, make known your feelings or your thoughts. So there was not, like, you know, one scripture, just one, you know. There's too many that I can talk about of God expressing himself in his word. There was too many. So God said, just say a few words about express. And then after, when I get done, take a look at yourself and express yourself in a different way. Now, express... We express ourselves like in many ways, like I said, whether it's if somebody got something to say, we always want to express ourselves so quickly. We always want to say, make known our thoughts and our feelings about it. But see, God knows say there's a time to express yourself. When I say express yourself, you say make known. When you express yourself, sometimes God wants you to hold back until it's time to express yourself. So when we, uh, when we express ourselves, whether it's like what we like to wear or how we like, how we, what we like others to do and what we think others should say or do or dress or however it is, and it, we even express ourselves on uh, what we wear. We call that our swagger, our character, our swagger, how we, how we look, how we carry ourselves. There you go, Pastor. 
<laughs> Amen. So we uh now we know that God's word expressed himself in so many. The first thing God expressed to us how much he loved us by sending his son to die for us. He expressed, I don't know too many people that would express themselves with that much love to die for another person. That's what he did, first of all. You know, and then he showed us how even though, you know, the devil, even though the devil is on our track, and, and you know, we come in here bogged down sometimes, and we don't know what we're going to do about this or that bill, or, you know, we just stressed out. God even uh, made known to us how uh, that he would... Uh, he would never leave us, nor would he forsake us. Even though in our trying time, even our worst period, God said, I would never forsake you. And for that, we should make known with no problem, God, I thank you. Lord, I love you. Even though I don't have what I need and I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm not where I'm supposed to be, but I'm expressing to you that, Lord, I thank you anyhow. So then, uh. God even give us that if uh, we keep his commandments and, and we uh, read his word and go by his word, he expressed to us, he made known that he got a place prepared for us. And that's heaven. And uh, how many of you want to go to heaven? So we need to either we need to express ourselves. When you express people, are you are you considerate of other folks' feelings when you express yourself? Are you considerate? Are you, are you uh, watching what you say? Are you picking the right time to say it, to express yourself? Sometimes we, the pastor say, you know, he teaches us right about, you know, just, just listen. Sometimes listen and express yourself later. You know, he tell us that, you know, just, just think about it and let God, you know, be, don't be quick to talk about it and, and, and want to get your feelings out. Just, you know, sometimes we just need to pray. Pray about it before we even express ourselves. Amen. I'm almost done. So, uh, like, uh, let me give some examples. You, uh, you done came to church and, you know, and things have been bad at home. And, you know, so many things have gone wrong before you even got here. And you saying, sister came up to you and said, well, good morning. How you doing today? Your expression how you feel, you make known the first thing out of your mouth, they better leave me alone. Wrong way to express. God wants us to express, even though we are down, even though 